When I was young, going to school, like all ch children, I, I took the bus to school. And uh, the you always run into those school bullies, a few of them. And they would push people around and that. They pushed me around. and uh, I was the guy who played soccer, and I was a soccer ball. Or when they had football, they would put it, throw the ball with me, at me and then jump all over me. That hurt. Yeah, you cry. You're a crybaby. And boy, I was waiting to grow up because I wanted to punch them. I didn't punch them, but I did punch them. Um, I rode my bike to, to school and they would let the air out of my bike. So, a couple times they would break the spokes. Ha ha ha. And I really couldn't do anything. So I said, when I get bigger, when well, I did get bigger, I went to high school, I still got the same guys. And I once told a guy, I says, you know, you really pissed me off. I'm going to rip off your head. Yeah, you can't do that. I says, actually, I can. Let me put it to you this way. If you don't want to be found hanging from that, don't bother me. You understand? Kind of get the point. You're crazy. Yes, I am. They will put me in a padded cell and they will put you in a coffin. Leave me alone. You're crazy. Well, going out for football, I would be the football again. I didn't go out for football. So I don't do that. Oh, you got to play basketball. They, uh, they knocked me down. I told the coach, the next time that guy hits, knocks me down, I'm going to get up and I'm going to kick his kneecap. But he's my star player. Not anymore. He's, not. he's in a wheelchair. I told him very simple. You know, we should meet after school. I says, no, we won't meet after school, coach. Uh-huh. Because I will only hit you twice. Two times. And you're going out on a body bag. Really, coach. Carlina. I told Carlina, very, very simple, that I don't fight. Why? Because I only know how to kill people. Uh-huh. Or damage them, really damage them. So you're going to hit me, and I'm going to hit you twice. One, I'm going to aim for your heart. I'm going to aim for your heart. We'll stop your heart, and you will drop. Where do you think my second bunch should go? I don't want you in my gym class. Thank you. I will sit on the sideline. When they went out for dancing, um, I, I told my I don't dance. And this very lovely, oh, very lovely dance instructor there. She said, will you dance with me? I really don't want to learn how to dance. Well, you can dance with me. I was tempted to ask her, can you do the tangle? <clears throat> tangle? Tangle. <clears throat> High school, tangle. You know what tangle is? Yeah, well, look look at it on the internet with tangle. <clears throat> it can be stimulating. Oh. I look at some of my, my school teachers, Mrs. Miss Stacy in, what was she in? She was in sixth grade teacher. Don't touch. You're only in sixth grade. Don't touch. But then I had a, that, that high school dance teacher. 
I used to have a really nice looking tan teachers. But again, I'm a bachelor, so it doesn't doesn't work out very well. But back back being a nasty nasty person. Um, by the time I got into high school, riding my bike, I, you know, you ride your bike about eight o'clock at night, and I go over to the guy's car, and I reach in. I cut a wire. No backlights. Or you remove the fuse there. Right. You pull out the wire. The fuse is in there where the wire isn't. And the car doesn't start. And the car doesn't start. And you, the car doesn't start. The car doesn't start. <laughs> He has a car in the driveway that it doesn't start. I had to bring in a mechanic. I said, oh, well, somebody, something like that. Um, he started learning to lock his car in his garage. Really? Really? Now, he's, now he has to do that. The, the door doesn't go up. You know, when Crazy Glue first came out, you glue two things, the, the door, the door doesn't go up. <laughs> oh, I was nasty to this one guy who harassed me. You know, if he's late for school, he's late for this, and he's late for that. I was really harassing him. Well, he harassed me. I harassed him back. You know, something like that, he, his... Really? Really? I think he spent a lot more on his car than everything else. I would go in there and put a acid tablet on his muffler on top. So, uh, it basically, after a couple runs, he now had a hole in his muffler. But, of course, at that time, they were cheap. Now, you're spending $500 to have a muffler replaced. Back then, whatever it was... He kept, he kept, every year he had to replace a muffler, or every three months he had to replace a muffler. And he had oil troubles. And he has car troubles. He's having car troubles. It's prize and joy sitting in the driveway and it doesn't work. You're very destructive when you get mad. Yes, I'm very destructive when I get mad. But I, lear I learned basically to kind of hold my temper against some of those people who basically mistreated me in high school and grade school. If I could screw up their lives, I, I would screw up their life. That's mean, Rotten. Yes, it is, isn't it? That thing. I mean, you can't do that as an adult. It becomes more destructive as an adult. Um, uh, really bothered me. I, I, you, you don't drink. There was a kid across the street that liked to shoot BBs in my house. Well, I had metal siding, a um, siding. I see all these little BB holes in them. He had no problem being out there. Uh -huh. He went through a couple of neighbor's windows. He would shoot at a can. A couple of my neighbor's windows had holes in there. Because I had a little BB gun too. Poop, poop. Boop, boop. Oh, did my neighbor get mad at that kid. You better know it. You better know it. The guy, the guy was a little bastard. The guy had, the neighbor had grape vines. The kid took, took all his grapes. What did you do? Neutralize some of his trees. Little oh, guy. One day, I, the little kid was a real nasty kid. I removed a section of siding off of one of their garage. What? Yep. Little things, little things. Yeah. Although a kid got older, he got married, he went out of that thing. 
And sure enough, he gets out a lot of his thing. He's married, happy family. Yeah, he gets out. His car is lifted up off off the pavement. I uh, jack the car up. I pull off all his wheels, put them in, in the backyard, and drop this tr car down again. So when he gets out in the morning, his nice new car, he's not going to work. <laughs> Yeah, you harass me. Then I got a cell phone number. You know how you harassed me when you I was a child. You know, I'm gonna ruin your marriage. Why? He liked to play. I told him, you know how you harassed me as a child. Yeah. Took my lunch money. I'm going to take your marriage apart. I to get you. I don't know who you are, but I ought to find you. You're not. Your marriage is, is failing. Why? Because around the neighborhood, it's him with his girlfriend, not his wife, not his children. It's him. Nasty. You're right nasty. He made my life miserable. What happened? They got divorced. Nice woman too. Nice, you know, nice family, but not a nice guy. Oh, how to be nice, how to be nice, how to be nice. How to not be nice. <laughs>